How much does an architect cost in London? Afraid that an architect will be too expensive for your project? I'm Tina Patel, architect and co-founder of Formed Architects. I want to bust this myth in this video and talk honestly about architects' fees and what you can expect. If you're looking to embark on a home renovation project or even a new build, before you even get to the stage where you can engage a builder, you are likely to need to think about hiring an architect and will need to understand the process and just what you are getting and how much it will cost. The first thing to understand is what you want from your architect. Is it just ideas and sketches? Or if this is your first time, further support through the building works. Don't forget an architect is trained in so much more than providing just drawings and you're likely to get better value the more you use them. You may not even know what aspects you want your architect to support you on, in which case you may be looking for a more flexible service where you are not being committed for all stages from the outset. So how do you go about finding what you need and what and how much it will cost? Start by arranging to meet them. Some architects will charge for this visit. Others, like ourselves, will ask for a donation to a charity partner. Others will come to a visit for nothing. If you want real value from this visit, we would say that you should expect to pay for this anywhere upwards of £100 for an hour's consultation. Why is this better than those that come for free? In our view, a bit like you would not expect to go to the dentist for an hour for an assessment on your teeth before you walk away with a treatment plan, an architect is a trained professional and if they are spending time with you and imparting valuable advice in that time, that will benefit your project in the long run. You are likely to get a better service if this is paid for in some way. This sort of initial visit is also an opportunity to understand what they are like and if they are asking the right questions and if you think you can work with them. They can then go away and assess what you need and provide a proposal to suit your needs. It's difficult to say how much that will cost exactly as every project is different and will be assessed based on the level of input required. What you should be able to establish though from the outset is how they charge for their services whether it is based on the percentage of the final build cost or contract value. And the two may differ, hourly rates, which can often lead to surprisingly high bills at the end, or a fixed fee for each stage. The latter of the three allows you the best opportunity to budget for the architect's fees from the outset, as it's a fixed known cost. For a small extension in London, you should expect to pay upwards of about £800 for some simple hand-drawn extension ideas. These would then progress to planning drawings and further stages thereafter, which may include building regulations, tender drawings and construction packages. If your architect is managing the building works on site and assessing works being done are aligned with your specification and best practice from start to finish, you would be looking at upwards of 12% of the total build cost being attributed to architect's fees. You should also establish if the architect's fees cover other consultants. Normally they would not and you should budget for structural engineers and fees for statutory fees for planning and building regulations. They will also be able to tell you if you should expect to pay for other fees for your specific project. The relationship with your architect is a crucial one to get right and should not be rushed. You will want to shop around and find the right match. Worth noting that you should check with what credentials your architect has and what their other customers say about them. And even if they are architects, not all people providing drawing services are trained to the same level as architects and therefore do not have the legal obligations required of architects who have to be listed on a register. As a result, the protection they may offer and the added value that can come from hiring an architect may not be there in that instance. With the experience of an architect, you are also likely to avoid many of the horror stories that you hear about with builders going AWOL and the time and stress and financial implications of this through their management process, if offered. The fees expended on this stage can save you thousands in heartache, so it's not something that should be considered a cost, but an investment that seeks to protect you both through the build and in the long run. To find out how an architect might be able to help your project and how much they would cost, please get in touch. We'd be happy to have a chat to understand if we can help you. There are also loads of really helpful tips in some of our other videos about what to think about when engaging an architect and what to ask and look out for. Subscribe to our channel to find these and others that may help you through the build process.